Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your February Singles Love Reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Personally, I think your moon sign is going to resonate the best, so you can trust me and figure that out with a link in the description box below if you don't already know it. Um, if you're wondering why I think that, there's a longer video in the description box below as well that'll explain why. Um, but otherwise, I just want to get right to the point and find out what's going on in your love life in February. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What do we have? Okay, so for the month of February for Gemini, what's kind of your energy in general? You've got your shit together. You're organized. You're like, everything in your life is, is pretty well set. Um, that might not be the case in regards to love, but otherwise, like, you've kind of got your ducks in a row. So whatever hard work you did last year, good for you. Um, what are the areas that you need to kind of maybe manipulate or change, tweak a little bit in order to find love. And this is in regards to like the process of finding it. And they're like really taking this energy where, hey, I've got my shit together. Like I'm a really awesome partner for somebody and feeling that, okay? So you've got to be not necessarily, like cocky is not the word, but recognizing your value, recognizing your worth, like recognizing how much of a good partner you would be for somebody. Like you're entirely ready for love to come in, right? Because everything else is going well. Like you're on a good track as far as finances, as far as career, as far as your day-to-day -day routines, like your, um, your house isn't a mess, <laughs> like whatever it means for you, like you're in a way better place than you ever were in regards to being a good partner for somebody else. And so you've learned a lot of your life lessons too is another thing. You're in a good space to welcome in love just because now you know what you will deal with and what you won't deal with. You know what a healthy relationship looks like and what a not healthy relationship looks like. So the problem is that you might be a little bit um, suspicious of anybody that comes you know, near you saying, hey, what do you think? You want to go on a date? Um, and, but not in, not in an overt kind of like, ah, everybody's a psycho kind of a way. It's just like healthy suspicion, but that's good. And it's based upon all the mistakes that you've made in the past. So, so you're in a really good place. Good for you. Um, what do you need to kind of assist in your own like inner growth in order to try to attract or find love? And they're like, just be really, really honest all the time. Now, um, it's not to say that you're an untruthful sign, Gemini. It's nothing like that. It's just that, um, you know, when we meet people, we kind of sometimes will make ourselves or our situation sound a little bit better than it is. Um, and it's not a lie. It's just kind of like a misrepresentation. <laughs> They're like, be super, super honest. And the reason why is because in this month, um, even though none of your cups so far are cups cards, I think other signs have cups cards and they're looking to make a deep emotional bond. And if you're able to kind of say, okay, well, here's my fault. I'm just going to lay them all out on the table. You know, like I'm a smoker or, um, I have bad credit or whatever. Okay. Whatever you perceive your faults to be or whatever it is that you would typically not be completely honest about. Um, you know, maybe you get laid off from your job and you're like, yeah, I'm uh, just taking a break. <laughs> like it was your choice, right? Um, so, so basically what it's saying is if you can be super direct and honest about that kind of stuff, then other people see you as a very open and honest, good communicator, right? Not, and that's what they want in a partner. But then not only that, you're showing that you have a vulnerable side, Okay, which is easy for them to meet when they're in an emotional, like a more emotional kind of connection state than maybe you're coming off as in the month of February. So I want to look at your behavioral patterns um, for better and for worse in the month of February to see how they would affect your, your love life. So what are you doing in February that's going to help you out? And then what are you doing in February that might kind of fuck things up a little bit? Okay, 
So the things that are going to help you out is staying focused on that day-to-day -day stuff, on getting your ducks in a row, working really hard, being paying attention to the details of your own life, okay? Bettering yourself, your own personal growth and development kind of a thing. They're like, you're not being lazy. You're taking action. You're getting things done, and that is so appealing to everybody else. But the flip side of it is sometimes you're not necessarily decisive or there's things you don't want to think about or handle or deal with. Um, for me, I'm not a Gemini at all, but um, that would be like student loans, just like, ah, oh, let's forget about that, push that off. And so it's like, it, it sends out this vibe to the universe of hopelessness, right? And so in regards to your love life, if you're not really thinking about what are the things that I want in a partner, like, oh, I'll just decide later, like, I'll see what comes and like, maybe it's good, maybe it's not then like the universe doesn't know what to bring you, right? It's like calling to order a pizza. Hi, I want a pizza delivered, click. So maybe you get the pizza of your dreams, but more likely they're going to bring you the wrong pizza or no pizza, something real nasty like anchovies and pineapple, okay? So you've got to get really specific and clear on what it is that you desire in a partner. So that's kind of the work that you should be tasking yourself with as long as you are in this energy of, you know, all this earth energy and all this go get them attitude in regards to the things in your your life, why wouldn't you apply that to your love life? So um, what is something that you need to let go of in order to welcome new love into your life in the month of February, Gemini? And they say, um, so there's a little bit of emotional imbalance when it comes to love because of your confusion energy, because you can't decide what is the most important thing that you desire in a partner. Do I want somebody who is really intelligent? Do I want someone who's really loving and affectionate? Do I want someone who gives a lot of gifts? His gifts is my love language. Not because you're a gold digger. I didn't want anyone to take that the wrong way. Just some people like gifts, you know? Um, do I want somebody who's like fun and exciting? Do I want somebody who's successful? Maybe I want all of these things, but maybe I think that that's too much. So then you've got to go back and you got to look at why in the first place would I feel like all the things that I want in a partner is too much to ask. That's fucked up. What's wrong with my self-esteem, right? But then on top of that, you've got to think about, okay, what relationships maybe did I have in the past that sucked? And then think think about the opposite thing, like looking at it by contrast. Yeah, it makes you sad to go back and do that, but it's actually a super good exercise. So I would challenge you actually to get out like a sheet of paper like this, okay? So you've got your sheet of paper. On the one side, you write everything that you hated about your last relationship or a series of relationships, liar, cheater. And then on the opposite side, I want you to write two positive opposites, honest, faithful, good communicator, loyal. Okay, so what happens with the law of attraction is the things that we think about, we bring about, right? So when we're thinking about the things we don't want or, um, or we're stressed about our confusion, we only end up more confused, okay? So if we're thinking about the things we don't want, we're actually drawing those in. That's how we end up in repeat patterns of the same kind of partner over and over and over. They seem really good and then they end up to be the same old shit bag as before. That's why, because we're focused on what was wrong with that relationship, what was wrong with that person, why it didn't work. So if we can, if we're thinking about nothing, nothing happens, we're stagnant. If we're thinking about the things that we hate, the scale tips this way, and we start getting those things coming into us. But, you know, it's natural to kind of think about the things we don't like to protect ourselves, right? To keep us safe from the things that we don't want. Like if we can recognize them, but... That's why we do two positive opposites to tip the scale in our favor and start drawing in what we really want. Maybe that'll help you get focused and think about what it is that you desire. Because if you don't know off the top of your head already what it is that you want in a partner, so you're just working on you, that's great. Because you're going to be a great partner when that partner shows up for you. Okay? But if you don't know what you want, you don't know what you're going to get. And it, you might not get anything. You might sit here stagnant. So... So that's maybe a good way to kind of figure out exactly what it is that you want in the month of February so you can start getting it, okay? Love and light and see you soon for singles. Um, I forgot to mention, I am giving away a free reading every month just because, you know what, I've been feeling really loving and generous lately, like my heart chakra is super open, awesome mood. So uh, if you want to enter to win it, 
there's a little thing at the end in the end card. You can just click on it. You can go to my website and fill it in. You only have to do it once. And then until I get sick of doing these free readings, um, it's a 20 minute video reading. I'm going to draw one every month. Um, and then you're entered every month to win. So that's that. Good luck. Love and light. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.